let's go ahead and solve a rational equation like this. Now, the first thing I recognize here is I have one denominator that's a trinomial and I have two other denominators that are binomials. I'm not gonna tell you every time, but a lot of the times, the product of these two binomials is gonna make your other denominator. That just usually makes the math a lot easier. So a lot of times it happens in textbooks. So always look for that first. So let's go and see, does x minus three times x minus four multiply to give me an x squared minus seven x plus 12? Well, yeah, these two multiply to give you a 12 and negative three and negative four are gonna add to give me negative seven. So guess what, it does check out. If I were going to factor this, it would be a x minus three times an x minus four, right? The reason why that's important is because when we're solving a rational equation, what we typically wanna do is get rid of the denominators. So we have both of these denominators represented over in this fraction. And so all we need to do is get these to be exactly the same. And therefore then we can go ahead and basically divide them all out and only work with the numerators. So to get this denominator, if I already have an x minus three, would just be to multiply it by an x minus four on the top and the bottom. You gotta make sure you multiply on top and the bottom to produce what we call equivalent fractions. Over here, I'm gonna multiply by an x minus three times an x minus three. Now what I want you to see is I have this equation where each and every expression has the exact same denominator. So therefore, I can now just go ahead and take my numerator. So I'm gonna rewrite this now as Right, so we don't need to include here the denominators. You could if you wanted to mathematically see how did I just get rid of them. Well, what you could do is say, well, why don't I just multiply everything times an x minus three times an x minus four. If you were to do that times each and every expression, that would divide out your denominators and now you're left with this expression. So now what you can see is we're gonna have a quadratic and we have some simplifying here to go ahead and do first. And since it's a quadratic, I'm gonna want to simplify this expression and then get everything over to the same side, right? Because remember when we're solving a quadratic, it's best to go ahead and set it equal to zero. So therefore we can either use factoring, quadratic formula or completing the square. So let's go ahead and simplify the right hand side first. All right, and now I'm just going to combine my like terms. So three X plus five X is going to be an eight X and a negative 12 plus negative 15 is like a negative 27. Okay, so now I have the, my terms. I'm gonna go ahead and get everything over to the right side. So I'll add a 27 to both sides and I'll subtract the eight X. So I'll subtract the eight X and now I'm going to be left with Okay, and so now what I wanna be able to do is say, all right, well, you know, can I factor this? Can I, how, how can I solve this? So just like we were looking over here, when we were trying to factor this, we're saying what two numbers multiply to give me a seven and that are gonna to add to give me a negative eight. And again, we're thinking of them to being a product of two binomials. And so since this is a quadratic, just an X squared, I know my two binomials are gonna look like that. And then if you're thinking a negative seven and a negative one, you are correct. So now I can just apply the zero product property. So since the product of these is equal to zero, that means X minus one is equal to zero. X minus seven is equal to zero. So therefore X equals one and X equals seven. But before I'm done, I wanna make sure I can plug these in back into my original equation to make sure the denominator does not go to zero. Since neither of these, when plugged in, does not make my denominator go zero, neither of them are extraneous solutions. These are gonna be my two solutions for this equation. Hope you enjoy.